Hey, I'm Aaron Fish, and this is Fish Food, where we make tasty, approachable snacks. And today, well, I got this Nine Minute Ranch bratwurst, and we're gonna make some corn dogs with O Canada, and we're gonna make some bang and bonger tomato jam. All right, so for the bratwurst corn dogs, we're gonna be making a banging bong or a tomato jam. So the idea behind that for me was always like, I don't know if anybody out there has had a, you know, a curry ketchup with a bratwurst before, but it was kind of my own riff on that. So we're gonna make that with the, the banging bonger that has some, you know, some Indian spices in there. It's not quite curry, but I think it has kind of the same aromatics and elements of what I'm looking for. So I've got whole peeled tomatoes. I went bougie and got the San Marzano's. I got some uh, garlic cloves, you can leave them whole. I smashed them a little bit to get the shell off, um, but we're gonna be blending this sauce when we're all done, so it doesn't matter. I got a little bit of red wine vinegar, brown sugar, some salt, and then the bang and bangra. All right, so we're gonna throw this on the stove. We're gonna bring it up to a simmer. We're gonna leave it uncovered, and we're gonna simmer it until it reduces down by like half. It gets kind of jammy. Uh, you gotta stir it every now and then so it doesn't burn on the bottom, and we'll blend it up, and we'll be ready for our corn dogs. All right, so our tomato jam has uh, gotten nice and jammy. You can see it's reduced by like almost half, if not a little bit more. We're gonna go right into the blender bucket. Now, if you don't have a blender, um, that's fine. You can use like a hand immersion blender, or maybe like a, um, a food processor, whatever you've got. Um, if you still don't have that, then I would just recommend like, you know, getting maybe a can of tomato sauce and um, mincing your garlic or something like that so that you don't have to worry about the puree side. So I'm gonna throw it right on here. Now I have it set on variable speed, which means that it's got a dial, so I'm gonna start it real low. That way it doesn't explode on me. And we're just gonna churn it up until we get a nice pureed sauce. All right, so our tomato jam's done. We'll make our corn dog batter. So I start with the cornmeal. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some buttermilk in here. We're gonna use the blender, and then I'm gonna put the cornmeal in here and put it on here real quick. I got it down low. I'm gonna kick it on. I just wanna create a paste. Now, we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so our cornmeal has been uh, soaking in the buttermilk for about five minutes. And the reason why we want to do that is we're going to kind of help hydrate the cornmeal before we start adding everything else in there. It's going to make it for a little bit of a softer batter. Um, so we go ahead and add everything else. I've got some sugar, some baking powder and baking soda, flour. We're going to put our own Canada in there. This is going to be like our salt and seasoning mix. Okay and then some soda water. I'm gonna put it back on here, and we're just gonna blend at a low speed. We're not trying to like over puree it or anything. We just want it to mix up nice. And final ingredient on this batter, we're gonna go ahead and throw an egg in there. That's gonna help it uh, stay like a little more sticky and fluffy. Now the trick is try not to overmix this batter too much. It'll seem a little thin. Um, it will we'll kind of work it, let it rest, it'll hydrate. All right, our corn dog batter is ready to go. And I've got our bratwurst, I just cut them in half. Um, the great thing about these is they're fully cooked, full of flavor, it's really great. You can do this with hot dogs if you want, but today, you know, we're getting weird. So in here I've got, it's not powdered sugar and it's not an illicit drug, it's cornstarch. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna help the batter coat them. We're just gonna toss these in here Okay, yeah, I'm gonna seal it up. And if any of you are old enough to remember this, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kinda shake and bake it. You know, shake and bake. Get them nice and coated. All right, you can see in there, they're all like, look like powdered sugar fingers. All right, and then the next step is just uh, sticking the skewers in. I'm gonna line them all out. All right, so we got our fryer oil nice and hot, uh, sitting at about 400 degrees. We're gonna dunk these in here. So this is nice because you have the quart container, you can just kind of use the, the stick to get it all nice and coated. You can work in batches, one at a time, two at a time, whatever makes it easy for you. 
Hey man, hold up. I didn't get the batter all the way on it. Almost, almost. And we're gonna drop him in. So you can hold on to the stick while it's puffing up. This is just gonna help it from uh, sticking to the bottom and drop them in. Let's do another one. All right, so we're looking for a nice golden brown just like that. Pull them out, throw them on a, a landing pad, kind of like this. I've got something raised that helps them stay from getting soggy with the grease. All right, let's go inside. We'll plate these up. Let's eat them. They look delicious. All right, it's party time. Let's plate this up. So we've got our banging bong red tomato jam. It's basically like my concept of a, like a curry ketchup. A little extra. Beep. We're gonna have some delicious Dijon mustard. I went with the farm style. It's got a little extra grain in it. Here's our spoon. Smear them out. Got some sauerkraut. This is basically a bratwurst fancy. Keep it nice and tight. And then just to top it off, I've got some pea shoots that I got locally for one of the restaurants. We're just gonna put those right on top. All right, so this is some fancy ass corn dogs. So let's get into it. I'm excited, I'm a little disappointed that I gotta break this down. So I'm gonna make sure to get a little bit of that mustard, a little bit of that ketchup, a little bit of that sauerkraut on there. And just go in. Mm. It's juicy. I mean, the, the breading is like sweet, salty, crispy, juicy, delicious bratwurst. The mustard's great. And then this, you know, banging barmer ketchup adds like a really like kind of that Middle Eastern element that you're looking for when you have like a currywurst. This.